someone is doing it right at OpenAI with ChatGPT and then Sora. Uh, but I remember last year you told us it used to take like 30 seconds to generate on stability a single image and then it was down to a second. And you've advanced the technology orders of magnitude since then. Yeah, so I think um, if we can put the thing up. But yeah, put up the slide, um, stable image. Yeah, and then if we can actually go to the next slide, talk about speed. Here, um, I'll, should I click this? Let's see. Oh, we can yeah. click this to give an idea of where it's gone. So image was kind of one of the things that kicked this off in 2022. All of these images can be generated on a MacBook. On a MacBook. Just from description. And now we've perfected text and other things. But the next step after you can generate all these beautiful images is that you want to move to control. So the models are just the first step. You have to have chat GPT and other things to make them useful. But then you want to be able to take that guy and say upscale. And that's all we said, and upscaled him. You want to say replace a lion with a cat, and we can now do that real time. You know, or a tiger with a unicorn. Hmm. Replace background with a forest, a lovely forest. So all of this you can do pretty much real time. Because if you look at the next slide from this, Okay. I'll, I'll. I said it was 20 seconds to one second. This is live real time. You can just type and it automatically adjusts the cat. It gives him a hat. But then if you look at the optimization of that with the next slide. Uh, back one. We missed it. Oh. This, this one? Okay, well, we missed it. Go back one slide. Sorry, with this process here, we're just releasing a new distillation model today. We've got it to 200 cats with hats per second. 200 cats with hats per second. So that's your speed of... Of yes. image generation. So that's, that's, that's a new 50, unit of image generation. 50 milliseconds per image? Yeah, exactly. It's because there's not enough cats on the internet, right? So we're going to add more cats to the internet. Oh, five milliseconds. Five milliseconds. Five milliseconds, yeah. But I think with the new chips that are coming, NVIDIA's going to announce another one, we'll get up towards 1,000 images per second. So that's real live, that's live video it's times, uh, times, uh, times 30. Yeah, and so OpenAI's innovation, there were two major things. There was the transformer architecture of the language models and diffusion that drive the media models, they combine the two together. So our new image model, Stable Diffusion 3, which is the best performing image model, combines those together as well. So if you go forward a few slides from here. Next one. Go, uh, skip um, another one. Another one. Well, that's the upscaling. You know. So you basically said upscale this image on the left, and, and yeah. you, get, you get the image on the right. We'll have that real time in a couple of years. So your boxy video games will look a lot more realistic. So just literally, as you're, you can take an old game and play it in surreal life. Yes. But if you go to the next slide. These videos with our video model were all generated on a consumer graphics card with five gigabytes of VRAM. So, I mean, the, the point is, it's, this is in everybody's hands. It's in everyone's hands. And again, we haven't even optimized the data. So in an hour, uh, next slide, we're releasing the world's most advanced 3D model. So all of these are just generated just from descriptions. And so the fastest version of this does it in one second. So you can generate that dragon. But then the next step is you'll be able to control every element, make its horns bigger, make these adjustments. So how long would that take for a normal creative person in kind of industry? A huge amount of time. But now it works on the edge. And it works even faster in the cloud. So a future here where you can be describing the video game you want created, and it's generating all the characters and generating the, the play. Yeah, and so if you go back a few slides to that thing with all the nodes, I think here. this is an important thing. Sorry. I didn't do the slides properly. I think one of the things that we're having right now is this is a system we built called Comfy UI that's used by just about everyone now. So you take the face, the pose, the dress, and then you have that output. But if I share that image with you, it reconstructs the entire flow. Because last year was the year of creation, models that create. Then ChatGPT Comfy UI allowed you to control and compose them. And the next bit is bringing that all together because ChatGPT, all the knowledge that you build from writing your speech, you don't have files anymore. You have flows with these models and assets there. And I think that's the next step because you know when you go beyond just spitting out ideas to be able to control them like that, that's a huge deal.